Yo, I apologize for looking like shit. I look like really bad shit. I haven't exercised, I haven't done anything. I saw this stupid video on Twitter talking about how Europe was back then to where it was, where it is back now. Let me just show you. I'm on the little corner. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably copyright music, and even even if it isn't, like now it's just showing like a bunch of immigrants, um, in in UK and in European countries alike. Well, you guys have to understand that it's probably this is like the, the worst side of it. It's probably better this way if you genuinely think about it, because what the European governments want at this point isn't cultural preservation. If they wanted cultural preservation, they'd be like fucking Japan. They want money, and if you want to have financial uh, success within, you know, mass immigration, yeah, I've got a camera. If you want know, financial success within mass immigration, then there's a cost to that, and that's a uh, cultural sacrifice. Like your British culture, British British culture is gone. It's, it's multicultural now, and the other countries I can imagine are going to be the same. Same with America. In all these other countries. American citizenship, you learn English and then you get an American passport. Congratulations, you're American. Japan, there's an arduous process to even get a Japanese passport. And even then, you're not even Japanese. You know what you're nowhere close to being Japanese. And Japanese doesn't allow dual citizenship. You know, my friend's Japanese, he had like two passports, British passport and Japanese passport. He had to give up one. He gave up his Japanese passport for his British was stupid, but yeah, whatever. You have to give up one in order to like fucking have success with the other. It's just, it's just dumb, man. Yeah, you guys have to understand like, Japan can make so much more money by selling out than everyone be on the Japanese culture. But then it's like, for the most part, Japanese people in Japan and then the odd foreigner comes and they're like, I'm a black guy in, in Japan, I'm a white guy in Japan, oh my god, I'm alienated. Because they're so used to America and the West being multicultural. They forget what it's like. Oh, thing. Which ice on my wrist. You guys have to realize these countries have sold out, dude. Your country is sold out. They want money. They want states. They want fame. They want prosperity. Yeah, it comes at a cost. Immigration. If if the population can't keep up, then it's immigration. And if immigration, I mean culture mix. And if it's culture mix, it means their culture is gonna be stronger than our culture because no one fucking preaches it. Like what? What, what is one thing about British culture you can name? I can't name a single one. Like, I can name a bunch of um, Islamic things. Nothing against Islam, it just is what it is. I have no hate for this. It's like, it's a stupid enemy. Like, would you like it to be like 100 years ago? Wait, fuck, what the fuck is it? What's my door? <laughs> this guy was like, this little kid was like, do you have Riz? Do you have ultimate Riz? I'm like, I got two girlfriends. He's like, how old are you? I guess it's age to be 14. He was 10 years old, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> back to my point. Like, it's so stupid. 100 fucking years ago, everyone was racist and countries weren't as rich and lifestyle wasn't as good. And they, you, you want to compare it to back then to now, like, you're fucking stupid. Like, what? Look at all the modern conveniences you have. Look at all the phones that you have. Take the technological de uh, devices. The job you have, perhaps. If you're in a good, cushy office job. Oh, fuck, that didn't exist 100 years ago. If you were a guy, you'd have to, like, um, thing. Work for your entire family. Like, it's much better now. This is the, this is the best time to be alive. It isn't 100 years ago. It isn't 200 years ago. 
perhaps when the girls were more, you know, less promiscuous, etc., etc., but you can always fucking move country for that shit. And you can always find good girls as well. There's plenty of good girls out there. Girls understand their value. Like, this, this, this whole paradigm, you know, I do understand that a lot of Western women are promiscuous and very risque. You have to realize there's still good girls around. It's not like they don't de, de-, de- spawn and every, like 100% of the girls are just promiscuous. This is, this, is in- this is incorrect. This is not factual. Yeah, it's, this is a dumb argument in general. Like, like what, what are you trying to spread? Like, fucking fear porn? I don't understand. Like, oh my god, cultural preservation, British culture, Arabian culture. Ooh, it's gone, bro. It's gone. <laughs> what the fuck? As soon as they opened the doors, they should have realized the consequences. Japan has opened their doors. Vietnam has opened their doors. China has opened their doors. It's, you know how hard it is to get citizenship there, to get recognized there? Bro, I'm Vietnamese, I'm Vietnamese um, thing. By ethnicity. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be Vietnamese like fully. I'm gonna be British Vietnamese, Asian British. That's, I'm gonna be that for the rest of my life. Like that's how it should be. Because if, if if everyone had like a piece of the pie, the pie would mean nothing. Uh, and there will be no pie to take as well after that. So like, what the fuck? I, it's, just, it's a dumb situation. Like, oh my god, yeah, people were racist back then. Yay! Like bro, what is blood bickering about man? And this this is like the worst side of it. How many good people come out of um, immigration as well? How many hard-working, honest, you know, intelligent, loyal people come out of um, immigration? Too many to count! What the fuck? See, you can see them like um, second, third generation, like Indians, the second, third generation, like kids after the immigra- uh, immigrants come in. Like, people give Somalians a lot of slack in the UK. I don't know a lot of good Somalians. This is just, this is just like fucking brain dairy, bro. This is... <laughs> it's, it's so dumb, like... <laughs> so, so it's so stupid because it's just fucking racist. <laughs> what the fuck? It, it's, it's not it's not racist in the like the you're black and white sense. It's racist in the I hate human sense. Like how how can you deny your fellow man uh, the opportunity to come to your country? Stupid people are stupid. They exist everywhere. Even if it didn't exist, and thing, what do you have then? Classic British geezers. Like what? That's British culture now. You want to watch food tonight, lads? They have beer belly the size of um you know. Someone's head, they look like they're pregnant 10 months in. That doesn't even make sense. Because like, this is so fucking fat. That's British culture now. Getting a pint. Getting a pint, watching footy tonight, lads. Like, what the fuck is that shit, bro? Like, that, that's. Uh, what, what, what are you arguing for? What is your point? It's fucking useless. <laughs> it's so dumb, man. It's a fucking dumb video, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It, this is like. A lot, a lot of the Red Pill guys um, think. Um, Conservative right right wing right guys think this as well, but like think about it, your fucking ancestors are probably immigrants as well. If you're American, you can't even speak because your ancestors are immigrants. If you're European, you can't even speak because your ancestors are fucking um war wartime murderers. Like what the fuck? We're gonna forget what the British did to the Chinese, sell them opium and steal their money, and then fucking re- recycle their money and keep selling them opium and you know fucking taking their money and selling them opium. And what the fuck? We're gonna forget about that shit. <laughs> We're gonna forget about the numerous war crimes. Every single country, European country especially, why the fuck do you think it's so rich now? Every single country committed, like, what the fuck? Switzerland, hosting banks that help the Nazis. Switzerland, uh, thing, hosting banks of the Roth- Rothschild family, which financed both sides of war. Like, come on, brother. What is the blood bickering about, man? Bro, what are you arguing for? What, what, what is it? Like, you're he's pandering to, like, fucking... These idiots online, and they're like, oh yeah, we should really get them out of the country. And then what? You know how many jobs are filled by individuals that uh, migrate over to your country? You, you understand that? You understand there's a whole like economy in place? It doesn't fucking work like that? Your, your, your my minuscule internet brain understand that for a singular second, bro. Immigrants are very, very important for the country's um, their progression financially, economically, and culturally. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know, it's crazy to think about it. I don't, I don't expect to go fucking full social justice warrior in this shit, but like, it's just, this is so dumb. It's, it's just dumb. Like, it's just like, it's melting my brain. Like, you give too much about, of, of, of the fucks about the wrong thing. Like, you're fucking all poor and broke. Like, <laughs> you're fat and ugly and poor and broke. I'm fat as well, but we don't talk about that. I'm a hoodie. I can see. Like, the part, people's priorities in the wrong place. That was, that was satire, by the way. I don't know, I have to fucking clarify myself. <laughs> Who are with the wrong things, bro? Like, what? What is going on, man? Focus on your own life. What is your own shit? Life's... I remember I was reading the book, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles. Life is much better than you think it is. It's much better than you think it is, you know? It's... it's. And I'm a, I'm a usually pessimistic individual, but I have to admit the truth. Like, life is... It's, it's much, like... Less shitty than you think it is. I genuinely... If you just look at the shit all the time, you're gonna have this bias if you think it's shit. 
you look at these all these you know these individuals that immigrate over into the western countries into european countries that commit crime and do wrong things and you think to yourself yeah all these guys are bad you're discriminating and not necessarily discriminating you're disqualifying all the individuals that are working extremely hard for their families and working extremely hard for a better future for a better life it's it's it's, it's not only wrong it's just stupid like it's, it's, it's ignorance <clears throat> and yeah, I understand it. Like ignorance is bliss, but come on, guys, too much. Um, my philosophy wouldn't be like red pill in the sense if I think generally think like this. I think my philosophy is more based on individualism, most definitely, which can promote selfish um, tendencies, but can also promote you know minding your own fucking business when it comes to that shit. Because seriously, guys, this is too much. Like, what what did that fucking one thing? Our oh, hundred immigrants, one or five are bad. Okay, all immigrants are bad. Like this is this is wrong. And what what did the other ninety five immigrants do to you? Bro? Everyone's fucking trying to live their own life. Like what? <laughs> it's so dumb. So dumb. Catch you guys in the next video, peace.